In this video, we'll show you how you can take your current location using a DeLorme InReach SC or Explorer and find your position on the map. But we'll focus on the InReach Explorer because we can also view our position using save waypoints. So let's get started. So here's the map we're going to use to take our coordinates and plot it on the map. First thing we want to do is focus on the legend area on the map and find out exactly what are the coordinate formats and any datums. And we'll take a, a pencil and a piece of paper and we're just going to sketch out the tick marks on our scale when we come to measure the in individual spots on our map. Now we do this so that now when we're going to find our position, the tick marks will line up to the tick marks on the map. Alright, so we see here that the coordinates are in two formats, lat long, degrees, minutes, seconds, and also in decimal format. Now we don't see any datum, so we just assume that it is the default WGS84, which is found out of the box on pretty much every GPS, including the DeLorme inReach. So let's take our inReach and make sure that we're going to have the uh, the same units. So we go under our settings, and we're going to go up to our units, and we're going to confirm our coordinates. We can change it. So here we can either change it from degrees. But we're going to change it to degrees, minutes, seconds. So now we can either go to our location or to our waypoints and bring up the waypoint that we want to look at. You can see now that the coordinates are in the degrees, minutes, seconds format. And we're just going to write this down on our piece of paper here and actually plot it out. Okay, so let's start with our east-west bearing, which is the bottom number here. So I notice here that we have 12 ticks between uh, the degrees here and there's two degrees difference so for degrees minutes seconds there's 60 minutes in a degree and 60 seconds in a minute so all we have to do now is everything's by 12 so in order to get to 69 1 to the one minute right here we go up six ticks one two three four five six and now 47, remember 47 minutes or 47 seconds in a minute. So we're going to go up almost a full minute. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 47. It's kind of here. So this is our mark right here. We're going to find our next set of numbers here. So remember, 60 seconds goes into a minute. So now we're down at 45 degrees, 52 minutes, 53 seconds in. And it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 53, right there. So now we have our two points plotted out. And now we're going to do straight lines until they meet. All right, so this is where the scale comes in handy here as we're drawing our lines and just finishing off our tick right here. So this is where the lines of the latitude and longitude meet. And if you were to confirm these coordinates on Google Earth or any other mapping software, you'll probably find we're in the approximate area. Now, based on the scale on the map, we might not be exactly on the spot. So we might be off by a little bit based on the scale of the map. All right, just a quick note here that in our example, we happened to use a DeLorme map, which worked out great for the units. But if you're in Canada, using government supplied topo maps, they use UTM and NAT83 for the coordinate format and datum. So you might have to use a little extra work to do the conversion to get it to the right format and datum as shown here in the tutorial. Check out in the description for the links to show you how to do it UTM. And we'll see you next time.